How are you tonight? I hope you're doing well. I am back from my little hiatus. My family went on vacation. And then my work, when I got back, was just super busy, so I didn't have much time or energy to film. But I'm back, and things are going well. It was a pretty low-key vacation, just did a lot of reading and um, relaxing. Did some walking, hiking, a little bit of swimming, but mostly reading and um, hanging out with my sister and brother-in-law's cats. That's right, they brought their cats. <laughs> um, my brother also brought his dog, and so it was a lot of fun. Um, I rode up with my sister and brother-in-law and they had a cage with their two cats in it <laughs> and I um, sat next to them and I don't mind it too much um, but they do have to give an anti-nausea medicine to one of the poor kitties who gets motion sickness but once we uh, get to our vacation spot it's always uh, a really fun time and the cats love it. There's a spiral staircase that they love climbing and um, watching people from. Leering, if you will. Um, but yeah. It was a lot of fun. I read four books, all fiction. <laughs> so wasn't very um, productive, I'm afraid. Well, in terms of knowledge. In terms of rest, it was very productive. Tonight I just thought that um, I would kind of like tap and um, talk about different random objects <laughs> that I found useful or interesting lately. Um, uh, so the first one is just this <laughs> circular dish rag. Um, it's not necessarily the most, like the best dish, dish rag, but it, my mom made it for me and um, I love it and I appreciate it. Um, she crochets. She just picked it up again. Um, she has, hasn't crocheted for very long in her life, but um, she does love it when she does crochet. I got to pick which one, um, like which shape or whatever, <laughs> um, because she likes making washcloths when she's starting up again because they're very like low pressure and useful though and um, usually pretty simple. So this one, I don't know if you can tell, but there's two different yarns in it. I guess you can tell. It's kind of, they're very similar colors. So it goes blue and then it goes to this um, blue, purple, and white yarn and then blue. And the blue, purple, and white yarn. And then it keeps going. And my mom uses um, cotton yarn so that um, they can be used as a dishcloth and so it can get washed. And um, yeah, it's just very useful and. Um, a way for her to be creative and I really appreciate her thinking of me. <laughs> um, I think she's making them for everyone including uh, significant others. <laughs> she's so sweet. Um, 
Yeah. I love it. I think it's important to be um, grateful for the small things and um, to find joy in the simple things. She also made me a pillowcase that um, always makes me feel very comforted when I use it. This next item is definitely not handmade, <laughs> but it's something that I've been really enjoying. You might know what these are. They um, have grown in popularity in the last few years, I feel like. They are called stasher bags. And basically, they are reusable Ziploc bags. These ones are made out of silicone. They're from the company Stasher. They're a little pricey, but you can get them on sale sometimes. And um, recently, I saw they were doing a warehouse sale, but I don't know if that's still going on. I got these during the Black Friday sale. And they are um, leak proof dishwasher safe, microwave safe, oven safe. You can double boil things or, or I guess just boil things. Like you can put them in a pot. Um, yeah, you can do so many different things with them. Um, you don't even have to put food in them. You can, um, sometimes I'll put toiletries, like travel size ones in here to keep them from spilling and, um, and then you just stick them in the dishwasher. Um, sorry, sometimes they're hard to open with one hand. Actually, I'm not even going to do it because I'm afraid I'm going to damage it. But um, you open it up and then you just kind of stick it like this. And it should kind of get in there pretty well. And then, um, and then uh, you stick it upside down to dry too. Um, I'm not sure what this is. It's not food. I don't know. Um, maybe it looks almost like tape. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> and then you just stick it upside down to dry. And there's even drying racks so you can buy, but you don't need them. Um, and then they also come in a snack bag. They come in so many different sizes, but they're very useful. And you can put um, pencils in them, or I think when I was sick, I just had a snack one full of cough drops and um, medicine. And on one side, they are clear, and on the other side, they're like a matte texture. And they have so many different fun colors, so everyone can have their own color, which is kind of fun. Um, there are off-brand ones, but I believe they're made of plastic, which is, um, you can't really do quite as much with it. And, um, they're not always built quite as well. But yeah, that's just something that I've been enjoying. I'll show you this flashlight my dad got me for, I think, my birthday. Um, <laughs> he gets one for everyone in the family. Um, he got my boyfriend one. And it's funny because my boyfriend's brother works for um, a tool company. And literally, he said, like, a week later, um, <laughs> his brother was was in a meeting at work and his boss came in and just put this down and said, what are we going to do about this? <laughs> um, it has a ton of different functions. Um, you can see I haven't even peeled off the protective layer yet. Um, but it is a classic flashlight, but you can also use this light. 
Um, it has a window breaker. It has um, a magnet on it. Um, I'm trying to think, there's so many different things. Um, it has a compass on it. Um, I believe you can tr charge it um, like solar, like a solar powered. Um, you can charge your phone with it. It has a micro USB and a USB port. Um, so like you can solar charge it and then plug in your phone, which is helpful. And it has this um, strap on it so you don't drop it on accident. And I think this might, I can't tell if this is for clipping on. Um, and this is just to cover the button so it doesn't get pressed in the packaging. But it has like a very nice grip texture. And um, yeah, it's very useful. It's very uh, classic dad um, gift. You know, practical, interesting. Here, let's take this off. I don't think there's one on this one. But yeah, it's just a fun little tool. And now everyone in my family has one. <laughs> and I'm sure there are other functions too. Um, I'll show you, I think. It's very bright. So it has a like, high setting, a low setting, a blinking setting. remember if I know how to turn on this one. I think I have to hold it down. Yep. If you hold it down, the bottom is bright. And then it also can blink red. Yeah. So. Cool. This is something that I bought because I would like to start journaling more consistently. And it is called the five minute journal. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. There's just inspirational quotes. And, um, there is kind of like a intro to it, but then you kind of just follow the same thing every day. Where there's an inspirational quote, and then you put in the date. This is 20. Um, oh, I think that's the beginning. That's not like the end here. Um, and then you put what you're grateful for, three things, three things that would make today great, daily affirmation, and then highlights of the day, and what did I learn today, so it's very simple, and it doesn't ask for too much, um, very doable, that said, I have not done it yet, <laughs> I, um, struggle a lot with object permanence, so, um, if I don't see something right in front of me, it doesn't really exist. <laughs> um, if you're wondering, I do have ADHD. <laughs> um, 
and that is definitely a side effect from it. As you can see, there's so many different quotes, and there's a ton of pages to be doing this. Um, there's a uh, bookmark down here to use, and there's extra space for notes in the back. that real writers know that wannabe writers don't and the secret is this it's not the writing part that's hard what's hard is sitting down to write what keeps us from sitting down is resistance Stephen Pressfield oh there are some references yeah it's nothing crazy but something I would like to try. And um, on this theme of journal, journaling and reflection, we have this um, 365 questions over five years um, five year journal. So, um, it just has different questions for each day of the year, and you put in the year, and then, um, you answer the questions, and then you can, um, go back each year. Uh, you know, second or third, fourth or fifth year, and see what your other responses were, which I think is really cool. So, for January 1st, the question is, what is your mission? And then, if we go to today, which is June 21st, the question is, who do you want to know better? And then, let's say we go to the later part of the year. November 4th is today you made blank. So that could be progress, or that it could be a drawing, or um, my bed, you know, just depending on where you're at. And there's no shame, and there's no pressure. You just come as you are. And sometimes maybe a question or your answer wouldn't change. Um, like, hmm. Do you want to know how it ends? Yikes. <laughs> I guess it would depend on what that's about. That's not a very good example. Um, I don't know, but I'm sure there's many possibilities. So yeah, that's something I would really like to do. I think it'd be fun, but again, I have to place it somewhere where I see it. Otherwise, I won't do it, even if I want to. Um, I got it online because I saw it once at um, a bookstore and I wanted it but I didn't get it and I thought about it for a long time and decided it was time. <laughs> um, this last thing, I don't really know how to describe it so I had this idea once. I saw this drawing where there were three bottles or jars and um, one <laughs> was awkward moments and it was like full of eyeballs <laughs> and then one jar was um, I think words left unsaid and it was full of letters um, like alphabetical letters um, and then there was another jar and I, I think it was like happy moments or something and uh, 
I was like, oh, that would be a really cool, that'd be really cool to have as like decor in your house. Um, so I started making these jars and, you know, typical, I <laughs> never finished it. <laughs> I really struggle to finish things sometimes. I get excited and I get my stuff, my supplies for a project and then unfortunately I end up not committing. <laughs> and then um, I just happen to have, you know, supplies for a banner or um, drawing or, you know, a bajillion of cards for all the letters I'm going to send. <laughs> Which I do send letters, but not enough to justify how many cards I've bought over the years. <laughs> I'll have to do a video with them sometime. But anyway, one of the jars that I did make that I haven't looked at in a while, but I thought it would be fun to look at is um, words left on side where um, instead of alphabetical letters, I wrote words on C class. And then I dropped it in the bottle. Um, if you don't know what C class is, it is just plain old regular glass from bottles or whatever um, that either went into a great lake or more likely the oceans and got rolled around and smoothed down in the waves um, with all like the debris and everything and it would become smooth and um, it's just like little see-through rocks and it's really fun to go and find and um, collect and some people make jewelry out of it, and some people just have it for display in jars. I have a whole... I have a little bit more than this, but, um... Um... This is a lot of what I have. I try not to hoard it too much. <laughs> My friend's mom has a whole bowl full of it. Big bowl, like a salad bowl. But um, this is the words left on said bar jar. And um, just like things that I was too scared to say. Um, so there's random words here. You can see there's the word think. I actually don't know what this says. Oh, duh. It says you are. Like you are. Uh, this says work. I don't know if it'll focus. It's pretty small. And this one says Scared. The darker pieces are kind of hard to see. And this one says messy. It's a little off center. So, yeah, I think um, it's actually, I, I've forgotten how comforting it was to do that if I just had a thought that I kept thinking over and over. Sometimes I tend to ruminate on certain things. Um, it's really helpful to put it out there, whether that's through journaling or whatever, but this would just felt like a fun, interesting way to display my thoughts and um, express myself. That is, I think, just kind of a piece of glass and not even see glass. <laughs> But it was red, and you never find red, orange, see-through, like sea glass. You know, I think it's a little 
Well, no. I think there might have been a little tiny bit sanded, or not sanded, but smoothed down, but not much. <laughs> I thought that um, maybe I could write something. I don't know what. Um, you have to use kind of bigger pieces. Mm. What could we say? Hmm. You know, I don't think I'm going to tell you what I'm going to write. I think I'm going to write it. And then... You'll see me put it in the bottle. Because after all... These are words left unsaid. Um, I'm going to have to... I'm a righty, so I'm going to have to change. There we go. And I definitely just put those into the wrong bottle, but... <laughs> but we can't have a perfect video, am I right? <laughs> That's okay. I'll wish you out of there. Anyway. Thanks for sticking around, and um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of random video. Um... And I uh, hope that you sleep well, and uh, you have a good evening, and I will see you soon.